Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to change out the wiper blades on your vehicle. I have a 2010 Subaru Forester behind me that I'll be doing it on, but it's pretty much universal for all vehicles, all right? And this is something I think is really beneficial to know because if you don't know how to do this yourself and you end up going to the dealership or the mechanic, they're going to charge you a lot of money, all right? They're not going to charge you just for those wipers. You're going to pay labor and the markup fee because that's just how it goes and you can't fault them for it. Learn how to do this yourself, learn how to get the proper sizes, and you'll be on your way to saving a few bucks. So let's get started, okay? Okay, so first thing you want to realize when you're switching out your wiper blades is that you have two different sizes here, all right? Your driver's side is going to be a lot larger because it's covering a way bigger area. Your passenger side is going to be smaller, okay? And as you can see there, the wah wah is just dangling right off there, all limp and flimsy. Um, all right, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to the dealer, AutoZone, um, you know, Auto Parts, Parts Plus, whatever the store is, and they're going to have a book there that's going to be able to show you what size you need. If they don't have a book, they're gonna have like a little digital screen. Either way, you look up your car's information, you put it in the system, you find it in the book, and it shows you what size you need. And if no one, if it's not there, then just go to the counter and ask for help. They're extremely helpful, and they'll be able to show you what sizes you need. Now for the 2010 Forester, I needed a 24 inch, all right, for this side. And I need an 80, 18 inch for here. So we're gonna get those popped on in just a second, all right? All right, on this version here, uh, and on most, it's going to be something we have to pry this open to get the blade uh, disconnected from the wiper arm, right? So I have a Phillips head, a flat head. Just pop this off, all right? You're going to pull this back. Now, these might be seated on here kind of tight, so it might take a little bit of work. Um, don't bend the wiper arm itself, but, you know, sometimes you might have to get these down like that, all right? So once you pop that off, you got that in the clean there, and then we're going to get this piece off here. All right, you got those removed. Then what you're going to do, you're gonna take your new wiper blade, okay? You got the 24 inch here for this side. You're gonna open it up, all right? And they're gonna come with adapters so that it will fit your car, so that it will work on your vehicle, all right? You just have to make sure it works. So you got directions that come with it, all right? So if you've never done this before, you can take a look. So then what you do here, if you look at these directions, it just kind of says identify your wiper arm. I have this one. And then you want to figure out which attachment you need. Mine is already attached on there. So that's sweet, all right? So this one, we have to open here. It was down like that. I push this. Okay, it looks like this is gonna open up and I should be able to seat my wiper blade. And then you want to get it, there's like a little area in here you want it to hook into, okay? I'm going to seat it in there. All right, you feel it click into place, click that in, okay? And we'll do the same thing on the other one. And as you can see here, this one's a little worse for the wear, right? This thing is in bad shape. All right, yeah, you definitely don't wanna end up in that situation. But same thing, all right? It says open right there on the top, you can see that. So I'm just gonna pop that open and show you how this is done uh, one more time. Again, these might be seated in there. They've been on your, on your windshield for a moment in the elements, right? So. All right, so we got that to go off, All right? We got that there. And then this part, you just slide over, all right? Man. Woo! Okay, same thing. We got the 18 inch over here, all right? You know this adapter works. We don't have to do anything fancy. And all those extra adapters are right there. 
I'm probably just going to put them back in the packaging and get rid of them. I, I don't have any use for them. If I get a new car, I'm not going to be taking the wipers with me, right? The same thing. I just pop this guy open, pop this drawn open, get it into there. Click, click, I right, set them down, and then we'll check that these work, right? All right, that's it. That's how you swap out the wiper blades on your vehicle. Remember, it's really dependent on the type of wiper arm that you have to connect to and the type of wiper blade that you buy, but the directions will walk you through that, okay? Also, the Eagles are now 10 and one, looking really nice. Another nail biter tonight. But anyway, I hope this video helped everybody. If you got any questions, drop them in the comments. Make sure you know how to do this before you're stuck on the side of the road without a wiper blade. And make sure you change your wiper blades out frequently, okay? Whenever they start to get a little streaky, change them out. Spend the money now at that time instead of waiting until when it's too late, all right? Anyway, take care of each other out there. Be kind. Make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. I'll catch you all later. Peace.